All right, we've got our first water source today, and uh, it's spring and it's beautiful, and I wanted to show you what it's like to walk up on it, because if you look this way, I've been walking through all this desert, and I've got these burned up trees here, and then all of a sudden, it starts to get green. Is this some like kind of a mud puddle on the trail? You can hear it. So there it is. So that's the spring. And because the spring is here, all this vegetation just grows. Just in this little strip. It's like a desert oasis. It's pretty neat. This is mile 489 of the Pacific Crest Trail. It's a super clear day too. You can see so far. I'm at mile 490 and it's another burn area. Look at how over here it's just completely wiped out. But what's also neat is that you can see the desert kind of growing back right here. So you can see all this stuff that's all been burnt, but also all the little things that are popping up, which is kind of neat. Wow, this one's pretty eerie. It's just like this as far as you can see. is so incredible and I can see so far at the same time up close it's nothing but just burned stuff so tragic so I just had an interesting moment I found three ticks on me but I was in the uh, the burnt up desert area one happened. Like, I found one on my pant leg, I found one on my arm, and I found one on my chest. And it's like, where are these guys coming from? Because I'm used to, actually I just walked past them. I'm used to like high grass being where you look for ticks. Like out on the east coast. So let me walk back to this grass right here. So I'm used to this right here being tick central. Like, from everything I was, I grew up with on the East Coast, if you're walking down a path like this and all this grass is rubbing against you, then you're probably gonna get ticks. But that's back on the East Coast, so I'm not even sure what's going on out here to find three ticks on me in the middle of the desert where everything was burned and there was literally nothing to brush against me. So that's a surprise. I think it's because I probably, I sat down for a minute and drank some water. They must have got on me because I sat down. But again, there was nothing in the area. So we don't have any ticks in Vegas and Vegas is a desert. But apparently out here, ticks in the desert are a thing. So good to know. Now that I think about it, that area that's all burnt probably looked a lot like this before the fire. There's shade, there's leaves. There's trees and bushes and grass. Whereas before, all we had were the tree trunks left. So I just rode into trail maintenance and they're uh, cutting down trees right now. They're, uh, they're worried about falling. Not sure if you can see them back there, probably. Nope, guess not. But yeah, ran to the guy with the radio. He held me up. I heard some saws in the distance and then they kind of communicated with each other and then the sawing stopped and they said go ahead through so pretty neat wow I just walked past all the trail maintenance and it opened up to this view gorgeous
All right, found the big tree with shade and friends. Time for a siesta. Wow, now this is the first one of these that I've seen. That's gorgeous. Wow. The trail just opened to this gigantic view. Wow. I was just walking through the woods a second ago. Now it's just completely burned and exposed. Like all of this down here and in front of me. Wow. Guess what? I just passed 500 miles. And I want to sing that song about walking 500 miles. But I won't. Just kidding. I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more. There's the next water source. It's that big tank right there. All right, I just walked around the whole tank, and there's no spigot. So it looks like you're just going to... And there's water. It's a little clearer on that end. It's a pretty beautiful view across the street from the water tank. Here's a much better look at that view. What the heck? Check this thing out. Wow. So this looks like a vine or something? Yeah, it's definitely a vine. But whoa, that thing is really interesting. Huh. Maybe one of you guys can Google it and figure out what it is, because I don't have signal. <laughs> the plot thickens. So this is one of those fruit things that I just saw. So you can see kind of what it looks like on the inside. But clearly, something in this hole dragged it in and was munching on it. So that's interesting. I guess it's edible for certain animals? I wonder what it is in there. It's a pretty beautiful sunset at mile 504, Pacific Crest Trail. Wow. Let's see if I can click around the colors here. Wow. I didn't really expect to get another shot tonight, but holy cow, look at this moon and the sun setting. And I'm standing in this gigantic field of medium tall grass and flowers. And it's just every direction. It's just gorgeous.